Under the sweltering heat of the African sun, the day began as usual for a herd of elephants that roamed the vast expanse of the golden savanna. The elephants moved as a unit, their massive bodies casting long shadows on the dry, crackling earth. With the morning's rays intensifying, the herd searched for food, picking at the leaves of acacia trees and gathering the ripest fruits they could find. Their journey eventually led them to a familiar destination, a natural pool of water nestled in a shallow depression in the landscape. The pool was a cherished spot, offering not only a source of hydration, but also a place for the elephants to cool off and bond. For the youngest member of the herd, a spirited calf full of curiosity and energy, the sight of the pool wrought uncontainable excitement. This was his favorite part of the day, a time to frolic in the water, splashing around and feeling the cool mud against his skin. With a gleeful trumpet, the baby elephant plunged into the shallow water, his tiny trunk playfully spraying water in all directions. He rolled and tumbled, losing himself in the joy of the moment, unaware of the danger that lurked beneath the surface. As he continued to play, the baby elephant unknowingly ventured too close to the edge of the pool, where the banks were steep and the mud was thick and treacherous. In a split second, his playful romp turned into a desperate struggle as he felt himself being pulled into the mire. Panic set in as the calf realized that he was trapped. The more he tried to free himself, the deeper he sank into the sticky mud. His joyful trumpeting turned into frantic cries for help, but his voice was drowned out by the distance between him and the rest of the herd. The other elephants, engrossed in their own activities, failed to notice the young one's plight. They continued to drink, graze, and socialize, blissfully unaware of the drama unfolding at the edge of the pool. It wasn't until they began to move on, signaling the end of their visit to the watering hole, that they realized something was wrong. The herd stopped in its tracks, looking around for the missing calf. When they saw him struggling in the mud, their instinct to protect and rescue kicked in. The herd quickly gathered around the trapped calf, their large bodies forming a protective circle. The adults reached out with their trunks, trying to push the baby elephant to safety. They used their considerable strength to tug at him, but the mud was relentless. Every attempt to free the calf seemed only to pull him further into the muck. The scene was one of desperation, elephants pushing, pulling, and trumpeting in frustration as they struggled to rescue their youngest member. As the minutes turned into hours, the herd's determination never wavered. They were bound by a powerful bond of kinship, and they would not abandon the calf. Their cries of distress echoed across the savanna, carrying with them a plea for help that would not go unheard. In the distance, a group of visitors at a nearby sanctuary heard the elephants' cries. From the safety of their car, they watched the heart-wrenching spectacle unfold powerless to intervene, but deeply moved by the elephant's display of loyalty and love. The tension was palpable as the elephants continued their rescue efforts. Suddenly, the sound of an approaching jeep broke the silence. The elephants stiffened, unsure whether the newcomers were a threat or a source of help. Instinctively, the herd formed a tighter circle around the calf, ready to defend him from any danger. A standoff ensued, a battle of wills between the rangers and the herd. The rangers needed to approach the calf to help, but the elephants were unwilling to back down. The rangers tried to move closer, but each step was met with a renewed show of strength from the herd. It was a tense, delicate situation. One wrong move could escalate the standoff into a dangerous confrontation. The rangers knew they had to be patient, to wait for the right moment when the elephants might allow them to intervene. As time wore on, the younger members of the herd, fearful of the unfamiliar situation, began to retreat. They had seen enough to understand that their presence was no longer helping, and so, with great reluctance, they turned and moved away from the pool. One by one, the older elephants followed, until only a few remained, standing resolutely by the calf's side. But even these guardians eventually had to make the difficult decision to leave, recognizing that their efforts were in vain. 
The rangers, now free to act, wasted no time. They approached the calf with care, knowing that any sudden movements could startle him and make the situation worse. The mud was thick and unyielding, but the rangers were determined. With shovels, ropes, and sheer determination, they began the laborious task of digging a path for the calf to escape. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, their efforts paid off. The baby elephant, exhausted but still clinging to life, managed to find enough footing to pull themselves free from the mud's grip. The rangers cheered as the calf stumbled onto solid ground, his body caked in mud, but his spirit unbroken. Relief washed over the scene as the successful rescue concluded, but the story was not yet over. As the calf stood there, blinking in the sunlight, the rangers realized the next challenge they faced. The herd had scattered, and the baby elephant was now alone. The rangers knew they couldn't leave the calf to fend for himself, but finding his family in the vast savanna would not be easy. It was a race against time, but the rangers were determined to see it through. They knew that the bond between the elephants was strong, and they would not rest until the baby was safely back where he belonged. The decision was made to temporarily restrain the young elephant, a necessary measure to ensure his safety. Though it might have appeared harsh, it was the most compassionate choice given the circumstances. The baby elephant, now tied and unable to move freely, exhibited clear signs of confusion and frustration. His small body tensed against the ropes, his eyes wide with uncertainty. As the rangers continued their efforts, a subtle change began to take place. Despite the initial fear and frustration, the baby elephant started to sense that these humans were not his enemies. They spoke to him in soft tones, their movements careful and deliberate. Gradually, a flicker of trust began to form between the young elephant and his human rescuers. The rangers, recognizing the signs of dehydration and exhaustion in the calf, knew they needed to act quickly to provide him with the care he desperately needed. They set up a small pool of water near the restrained elephant, coaxing him gently toward it. At first, the baby elephant hesitated, still wary of his surroundings. But the sight of the water, cool and inviting, was too much to resist. He dipped his trunk in cautiously, then began to drink with growing enthusiasm. The water soothed his parched throat and rejuvenated his weary body. As the day wore on, a distant sound reached the baby elephant's ears, the faint, familiar calls of his herd. His entire demeanor changed in an instant. He strained against the ropes, his body trembling with the desire to respond to those distant calls. The urgency in his movements was clear, he needed to be with his family. The rangers heard the calls as well, their eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the herd. It was then that a group of tourists, who had been quietly observing from a distance, approached with vital information. The tourists had spotted the herd not far from where the baby elephant had become trapped, near the very pool where the day's misadventure had begun. Armed with this crucial knowledge, the rangers wasted no time. They carefully released the baby elephant from his restraints, his excitement and eagerness evident as he sensed freedom and the chance to reunite with his family. Guided by the tourists and driven by the young elephant's urgent need to find his herd, the rangers embarked on a journey to reunite him with his family. The path was familiar to the rangers, but for the baby elephant, each step brought him closer to the safety and comfort of his herd. As they approached the pool, the herd came into view. The sight of the familiar faces and towering figures brought an immediate sense of relief to the young elephant. Without hesitation, the baby elephant sprinted toward his family, his small legs moving as fast as they could carry him. The rangers watched with satisfaction as the baby elephant was enveloped by his family, their trunks reaching out to touch him, to reassure him that he was safe once more. The calf, now free and among his loved ones, radiated happiness and relief. For the rangers, this was more than just another day's work. It was a reminder of the powerful bonds that exist in nature and of the role humans can play in protecting and preserving those bonds. The tourists, too, were deeply moved by the experience. 
As the herd began to move on, the baby elephant lingered for a moment, turning back to look at the rangers who had played such a crucial role in his rescue. It was as if he was acknowledging their help, a silent gesture of gratitude from one of nature's most intelligent and emotional creatures. The rangers returned to their jeep, their hearts full. The tourists, now forever changed by what they had seen, left the sanctuary with stories to tell, not just of the animals they had observed, but of the incredible acts of care and kindness they had been privileged to witness.